Hello and welcome to Awaken the Truth Within with Zoe Gold. Let's talk about your relationship and the quality of your relationship with the good that you desire, whatever that is. Whether it is your, let's say, financial situation or money. You talk about money, you think about money because you pay your bills, you touch them every day, uh, either you pay with your credit card or your debit card or whatever. But how often do you actually, actually think about money in a way that actually builds a healthy and beautiful relationship with it? What is the quality of your communication with money? In terms of feelings, in terms of thoughts, pictures that you see, and feelings that you actually feel. How often do you actually communicate with money? How often do you look at it, look at its goodness of it, the beauty of it, the good things you can do with it, the ideas of how money can flow to you and come to you at... um, you know, just looking at it and acknowledging it and appreciating it and, and liking it. How often do you do that? What do you feel when you think about your bills, when you pay your bills, when you think about your bank account, when you think about your financial situation at the end of the week, month, and the year? How do you see your financial future? What are your habitual thoughts and habitual pictures about it? What is your relationship and how do you build it with money? Because up until now, it could be going by default or whatever. But now it's interesting to understand and important to understand that even though it seemed like it was by default, it's still these things you were doing because these were your thoughts, these were your pictures in your head, these were your beliefs your feelings, your um, anticipations of the future, uh, your ideas. So ask yourself, were you ignoring this particular subject? Because many people say, I want to have a lot of money. I want to, I don't know, be wealthy. But what is your relationship with wealth and abundance, with financial wealth and abundance? Just think about it. How often do you think about it? How often do you feel it from the state of dream fulfilled, from the state of really quality, good, beautiful, warm relationship with it? And the same thing you can say about any other aspect of your life or area of your life that you want to improve or you want to have if you don't have it at this time. Like, for example, romantic relationship, uh, children, um, Whatever that is, traveling all over the world, business, business partners, uh, clients, potential clients, new clients, your email list. How do you build relationship with that? And I'm talking about your internal because it all starts within and then it leads to inspired actions that lead to desired results. How do you build quality relationship with the things that you want and things that you like um, every day? Do you just ignore? Like, for example, you want to have a good romantic relationship that you haven't had for a long time and you just don't think about it. And every time you do think about it, you remember past failures and past maybe moments of, of regret and even abuse or hurt. Do you... Um, do you either ignore it or you push against something that you do not want to have in your relationship? How much time do you spend actually building quality, beautiful relationship with your romantic relationship, right? Sending the ideas of how you want it to be, feeling it, um, giving love, flowing life to it, communicating with it. 
and and your guidance system, your feelings can actually show you the quality of that relationship. How often do you, if you if you know what you actually want in a romantic relationship, if you know what kind of partner you want, how you want to feel with this person, um, how you want to be, how this person is for you, and you are very clear. How often do you come back to this vision? How often do you revisit it? How often do you feel it, read it, think about it, see pictures in your mind, anticipate? Anticipated, feel those feelings when you are in that kind of relationship uh, with with the person that that you want to be. So, what is your communication with the good that you desire? How often you communicate with the good that you desire? And we can go on, and you can take any subject that you actually want to improve or you want to have in your life, and ask yourself, what is my quality? What is the quality of relationship with with this thing that I want? How often do I communicate with it? How often do I flow life in it? Do I, how often do I flow life to it? How often do I tell it that I like it, that I appreciate it, that I know it, that I um, see it, that I uh, acknowledge it, that I want to enjoy it, that I do enjoy it now? How often do you do that? How often do you feel that feeling of close, cl- like uh, being very close and that warmth of feeling towards the good that you desire? Yeah, something to think about. Definitely. Now, let's talk about one more thing, the relationship with you, with yourself. Because how can somebody else truly love and appreciate and acknowledge and adore you if you don't do it with yourself? What is the quality of your relationship with you? Do you treat yourself the way that if somebody else has treated you this way, you would leave them? <laughs> do you treat yourself the way you would never let anybody else to treat you? Do you abuse yourself mentally, emotionally? Do you tell to yourself things that you would never want anybody else tell to you and you would not even want to tell to somebody else? What do you believe about yourself, your abilities, your past? What regrets do you have? What do you feel guilty about? What do you think you should have done or shouldn't have done that you still, 50 years later, feel bad about it? What is the quality of your relationship with you? Now, this is the basis for, for, for everything, for success in any aspect of your life. It's you and your relationship with you and your self-love and self-appreciation. How often do you tell yourself that I like me? I like, like look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I like you. I love you. I appreciate you. I accept you. Just the way you are, I accept and appreciate you. Now, I know you. I trust you. I love you. And truly, deeply feel it. How often do you spend that quality time with you without um, um, arguing with yourself or blaming yourself or beating yourself up or feeling less than? You are doing it. It feels like you're comparing or maybe it happened, it's happening by default or maybe it's a habit of thinking or maybe there was something in the past and blah, blah, blah. But you are doing it. You, nobody else can do anything that's going on in you, about you. It's you. And first of all, you can choose. Now you have a choice. Now you have conscious awareness of it. Now you have a choice and you can make a decision decision that you have your back, that you have your support, that you have your love, that you have your forgiveness, you have your approval and acceptance. You have it. You give it to you. Everything you want somebody else to give to you. Like you want, you're desperate for approval of somebody else. You're desperate for somebody else's love. You're scared that you won't be enough and you won't be loved. You don't need approval and acceptance from anybody else but you. 
Because when you truly love, truly appreciate, truly know, truly trust, truly embrace you, then you can flow life to yourself and to others. And that's how all those feelings of self-consciousness, they just disappear. They fall. Because you stand in your true light and you pour your light on everybody else. So tell yourself often how much you love you. Feel that warm, beautiful, loving feeling towards yourself and towards things that you want in your life, things that you love, things that you appreciate. Build a beautiful, beautiful quality relationship and communication with you and with good that you desire. And do it often enough. Don't do it once a year when you go to some motivational event and you write your goals and you spend 30 minutes thinking about it. Do it every day. Do it even when you achieve it. Because sometimes you can see that when you have a big dream and then that dream becomes fulfilled and you are so happy for like, I don't know, a year, <laughs> maybe even less in many cases. And then you just take it for granted and you don't build new dreams. You don't build new beautiful relationship communication and you don't flow new ideas. You don't flow new dreams. You don't, you don't give life to this, the, the beauty that you want anymore. And then whatever you've got with time will deteriorate. If you don't put life, give life to it. If you don't come up with new ideas, new goals, new dreams, new beautiful feelings of expansion, of growth, of, of joy, of living a dream and building a dream and building even more, even bigger, even better. So think about that. Think about your relationship and your communication with you, with the most important person in your life and with everything that you want to have with the good that you desire. Now, it was a pleasure being with you today. Have an amazing day and talk to you soon. Bye now.